people want and understand that sometimes <coughs> you don't know everything and somebody out there might be contacting you who has a bit more knowledge than you do and you have to listen to them. You have to bend a little to the ways of the residents. I think that the job of town council is to direct the town. Um, obviously, you have the short-term budgetary type items, which is certainly the responsibility of the town um, council. I also think that the council is responsible for the overall long-term outlook of the town and how, how we direct it going forward. Um, I think it's a long-term position as well as a short-term position. I think the vision that the t council has today can have a great impact on the town in 40 or 50 years. And I think that, um, that that's the major job, is to make sure that the town survives and does, it, and does well into the future. I think that a, a town councilor has to be a positive influence for the people that elect that person. And uh, as Dan said, the people that don't. Uh, I think it's important to, especially through what we're going through right now and experiencing, I know that I've never experienced it in my life as well as most of us probably haven't. Um, we're going to see uh, some very tough things happening in this economy and in, in our country and around the world for, I think, some years to come. And we'll probably never get back to where we were in the last 10 years, uh, at least from everything I see and read. And I'm a bit of a realist when it comes down to what I see. Uh, I think that as far as your question goes, I think that it's very important that you, can, you, know, you learn what the people are wanting at the time. You have to consider their, their thoughts as well as your own vision of what you see. And it's very important to hear both sides of the issue, whether it's pro or against. Uh, and I think that's pretty much the gist of what a counselor would be. I think a town councilor's job is to engage in the community and make sure that the community is talking back and that the town council, the town council in general needs to make sure that they're working with the community. I think it's their job to have a vision for our future. I think we have some great opportunities with our economic development with the Southern New Hampshire tier if it's directed right. Um, and I think that they have to be involved in the community and they have to get back together with the, the town council and the people so that we're all working together instead of it's us against them. Uh, I think the job of a town council member is to, number one, lead the town, govern the town, listen to the people, uh, work with the town planning department, all of the departments to manage the town and grow the economic development in the way that benefits the entire town and everybody. Um, we also need to be cognizant of our role in the southern New Hampshire region. You know, we, we are a town unto ourselves, but we're also part of that region. Um, the economic development needs to be done in the manner that we have grown the town and developed the town over the last 20, 30, 40 years. Uh, it's also up to the council to make the hard decisions that in these economic times, you know, we just, we got our budget laid out and then the state chain, you know, says, oh, you may not be getting this money. And so we had to go back and look for more places to cut. These are the kind of decisions that the council has to deal with. And while it may not make everybody happy, they have to make those decisions to the benefit of the entire town. I think the job of a uh, town councilor is a very, very important job. Um, I would take the uh, job as very, very serious. Um, it's, it's not an easy job. It's, uh, it takes fiscal responsibility um, to ensure the viability of Londonderry. Uh, you have to be focused. You have to have a vision. You have to be a very good listener, and you have to seek out knowledge. And always remember that it's not just your opinion. It's the opinion of the constituents that you represent. So that's what I see as um, the job of the town councilor. Thank you. Next question, please. Don't make me ask the questions I have here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. Is it OK to ask? Uh, yes. OK. Ask Thank you. Joe, what is your final <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> I got to pick a good one. I got to pick a good one then. 
Uh, so I asked this question last year, and I believe the year before, and I asked it of both council candidates and school board candidates. So I'll ask it again. And it's a topic you've probably heard about. Uh, if you look at the town and the school as, as two individual bodies, and they are legally and financially and statutorily in our town, but together they represent uh, a $90 million organization that ends up in a single tax bill going to your home and mind. Uh, if you, you know, look at that, would you support an effort to consolidate operations and or departments and or functions between those two organizations in order to end up with uh, a savings in the taxpayer's pocket? And if you don't support that, I'd be interested in knowing why. Chris, we begin with you. Well, I get to start with the hard question. Um, with $90 million on the table, it would seem to me that there should be some economy of scale between the two organizations. Um, so I would certainly support looking at that and, and seeing what, what it is out there and what's available and what could be done. Um, I think you'd have to take each case very individually and you'd have to look at both sides very seriously to see what the overall impact is going to be and whether it's really a good win for the community or if it's not a good win. So I think you'd have to take it individually. Um, and I think you'd have to be very specific on how you did it. And so if you're going to put two or three jobs together, um, for instance, cleaning, you know, if you're going to say, well, if the school has this cleaning crew and the town has this cleaning crew, you know, maybe we could merge them together and have one cleaning crew do everything and maybe we would save some money that way. That would certainly, I would think, be beneficial to look into. However, I don't think every consolidation would be that easy. So I think you'd have to look very hard, but I think absolutely there should be something out there that, um, that could be consolidated and could be at a savings to us as in the community. As usual, Mike, good question. <laughs> um, well, while I've been sitting on the budget committee, a lot of the discussions we had were, you know, symmetries, redundancies, and you'd bring them up in the meetings, and 10 to 1, they usually went nowhere. Uh, it wasn't until recently where they started to look at some of these things, and we saw what happened, happened with the cable studio. I think that uh, what folks have to realize is that they have to be open-minded about how many redundancies we have within the government of the town, meaning the school and the town. Uh, it is one pocket, two different organizations. I think that we have some redundancies. I, I kind of check things out. The town of Salem, for instance, if you look on the town side, the town of Salem has a town manager but no assistant manager. Town of Derry, same thing. Town of Manchester, I mean the city of Manchester, same thing. City of Dover, same thing. You have a, a, a city manager in Dover, you have a city manager in Manchester, and then in Derry, in Salem, you have a town manager but no assistant manager, and then a finance person. So. I think you know we have an assistant town manager. That's a position I, I'd have to question as a town councilor. Do we really need two people making? You have a town manager making one hundred thirty-one thousand dollars and an assistant town manager making one hundred twenty-seven thousand, minus. Um, these are redundancies you have to look at. We're a town of twenty-five thousand. We're not a city, and we have to look at things and be fiscally responsible. Uh, I heard Steve at the at the uh, round table. He talked about using this building as is having an opportunity to possibly, instead of building a school, uh, a school office building all by itself, why don't we use this? There is room, we know there's room, but because there's factions and the town doesn't want to do this because the school's encroaching on it, you have to look at both sides. You, you've got to look at everything as an, as an umbrella and have to make decisions based on that. You can't be closed-minded to these things. And I think, unfortunately, this, this two different factions thing doesn't really work. We're all in it together. We're all, you know, citizens of the town of Londonderry. You know, we all pay our taxes, but we have to be smart about it. But there are redundancies, and I'd absolutely support looking at different ways of, you know, improving what we do. You, you kind of have to, because it's not going to get any easier. Taxes don't go down. They go up. So you lessen the impact. Every year you're going to have, finance, you know, contracts. The employees get raises. Their benefits go up. So 
the rate, you know, we're always going to have increases in taxes. So really what you've got to do is